In the early 1900s, this was somewhat of a rail town. Agriculture and mining mostly. It was a wild town. A lot of debauchery was a hive of scum and villainy. Where bars and saloons flourished. A wild town with a lot of murders, gunfights, knife fights, you name it, would happen. Well, eventually, most of the industry moved out and half the town died. But the city, instead of tearing down the vacant buildings, they just boarded them up and uh, essentially made it a tourist attraction. And that's almost exactly what it's become. Welcome to Forest Grove, Arkansas, a town where almost half the population has just disappeared. Most folks think everyone's leaving because the Tyson plant closed down. Jobs go, people follow. It's the way of small towns. I heard it was the cartel. Like trafficking? It was weird though. One day there was here, then the next, just poof, like disappeared. They vanished into thin air. Well, I think it's Bigfoot something like that. People can laugh all they want to, but there's things going on in these woods people just don't understand. Theories abound, from the mundane to the extraordinary. But the real mystery is what's actually happening here in Forest Grove. That's what I'm here to find out. Today. Um, I'm actually not sure. What do you recommend? Special today is brisket with chips, but the Bearcat Burger is pretty popular too. Um, you know what? Yeah, I'll try the Bearcat. Are you from out of town? Yes, ma'am. Seems uh quiet here. Yeah, most of the time. Any other times? Have you not heard? Oh, uh. Yeah, that's actually why I'm here. I'm um, making a YouTube video about it. I see. You know, it must be tough living with that kind of fear. Yeah, I'm starting to think that we should just move. How would you feel about talking about it on camera? Why would I do that? I don't know. Maybe the attention would help. I guess, if you think it might help, I get off in a couple of minutes. I can come out to your car then, if that's okay? Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. I'll be waiting. Order number 237, your food is ready. Thank you. Hey, um, is there by chance those two guys over there in the truck? The blue one? Yeah, that's Jimmy and Cliff. They live around here, but they mostly keep to themselves. Seem pretty interested in me. Well, they're probably just curious about a new face. We don't get many visitors around here. Do you know why that might be? I know, I don't like to gossip, but we've all been a little on edge lately. So you don't have any idea what's going on around here? And it's hard to have any ideas when people just vanish into thin air, you know? Yeah, I get what you mean. 
Thank you. Have a good day. What'd you find out? I've got Sheriff Matthews here with me. He's got some info. You're on speaker. Ran the plates on that truck. It's registered to Jimmy Sullivan. He used to work at the chicken plant, but he's been out of work for a while. We've had a few run-ins. Possession, theft. Got it. Hey, do you by chance know a Charlotte? She works at the lighthouse. That's Jimmy's wife. They've got a kid together. Why do you ask? Well, I was supposed to interview her, but I guess it fell through. Hey, thanks for the heads up. No problem. Just let us know whenever you need us. Yeah, got it. We'll do. Is everything okay? No, my niece Katie, she's missing here, and so I'm out here looking for her. Yeah, no, that's horrible. I'll, I'll keep my eyes peeled, okay? But, but, she normally walks here to these woods here, but I'm worried that she may have fallen here. Could you please help us look for her? Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'll help. Hey. That's fine, Mike. Cliff, you need to go move her car off the road. Got it. Jimmy, you know I don't like bringing people to our place. You worry too much. Plus, it's only going to be for a few hours, and then the big boys will be here to pick her up. But what if something happens? Our daughter? You're too paranoid. Too paranoid. We got to hurry. Slowly, put your hands behind your head. 